Last week, I played the first hour of Fallout 76 again so that I could prepare for the Wastelanders update. Now the update has launched, despite a small hiccup with the Steam launch. I played the first hour again after the update and a lot has changed, hopefully for the better. Let's talk about what's different. Both before and after the update, leaving Vault 76 is the same. However, you will notice a small difference in the pit boy itself. The original date is the 23rd of October 2102, and it now shows the 23rd of October 2103, signifying that a year has passed since the initial launch of the game or the events occurring on Appalachia. There are more noticeable differences once you leave the vault, however, after you complete the Reclamation Day quest, you are originally given a first contact quest to find the Overseer's camp. You can go down and briefly talk to Pennington as you walk past and head towards the camp. In the Wastelanders update, this is very different, and you will get the Wayward Souls quest and specifically are told to talk to Pennyworth, and immediately this shows off the new dialogue system with a range of options and different things that you can say to him. He has a few interesting things things to say, but I'm going to be intentionally vague about a lot of these quest things because I don't want to give you any unnecessary spoilers. And I mean, it is only the first hour of the game, but if you're going to play this, I don't want to tell you exactly what's going to happen in the first hour. So I'm just, I'm just going to be a bit vague about the quest objectives, but everything else and my thoughts, I'll give you hundred percent. After that, he instructs you to go talk to some, some real people. That's right. Real actual people. So you walk down these stairs and you head slightly down this little path and there you have it real people that's that's it real people Islaya and Lacey who they fill you in on what's been happening and they give you a bit of direction around where you should go next and you should go check out this hip cool bar that's just opened up in both playthroughs I stopped at this lookout tower to check for supplies however to my actual delight there was a random NPC here simply called the settler he didn't really have much to say but it was refreshing to see a friendly face on my journey to mix up the general gameplay and on this channel I talk a lot about random encounters and how they have such an impact on your enjoyment and how much how much involvement you have in the world and the immersion and this is the random encounter that I'm talking about it's not running into an enemy and having to shoot them this is what I'm talking about a friendly face that you just talk to he says like three words but that doesn't matter it's a random encounter it adds to the believability of the world so after that, the journey through to the Overseer's Camp is mostly the same, or, you know, in the Wastelanders update, it's the Wayward Bar. In both playthroughs, you don't really see much. I killed some Scorch, I did some Fallout exploring things. I did, however, find this cute cat peeking out of the window in my Wastelanders playthrough. I don't think it was there previously, I don't remember seeing it, but, you know, he's just chilling, having a grand old time. Top bloke, that cat. The Overseer's Camp is mostly unchanged in both versions, uh, oh, uh, except for the giant new structure across the road. That wasn't there before. So you can head to the camp as you did before in the Wastelanders update and learn how to craft. However, what you should be doing is heading into this giant bar, which looks really nice. It looks like a fallout structure. In the bar itself, you meet some lovely people. One tries to kill you, but the other two are all right in my book. Duchess fills you in on what's happening in the world and gives you a new main quest to deal with. If you checked out the Overseer's Camp, you'll notice that the Overseer's Log is missing in the Wastelanders update compared to previously where you would go to the camp. You would open up the Overseer's Stash, there'd be a log. You read the log, it would give you the next step in the main quest, which was to head to Flatwoods. Now, this doesn't happen in the Wastelanders update. You go talk to Duchess, she gives you a completely different quest. And if you choose a specific option in her dialogue speech, which is to ask her what happened to the overseer, she will say, oh, actually, I've got this log from across the road. It's been a while, but here it is. And she, she does make note that, oh, maybe, you know, you were the one who was supposed to find this. So she passes it over to you. If you give it a listen, it will initiate that Flatwoods quest from the original Fallout 76. So you can still do the OG main quest, but I really don't think it's very interesting, to be honest. So let's follow the new information that we've got from Duchess. So after you do that, Duchess has an actual problem that she would like your help with. This gang won't get off her back and she needs your help to trick them into telling you where their hideout is so you can go and take them out. Which I was successfully able to do as I'm a big strong man with my two strength and I was able to pass the dialogue check to get them to tell me where their base is. 
Now, it seems that after this point is where Wastelanders and the OG-76 completely diverge. Just Duchess's quest sends you in the complete opposite direction of the original main story, which is to go to Flatwoods. She sends you way back past Vault 76 in the other direction. Already, I'm significantly more interested in the following this narrative than the original game. And the interesting thing about this quest line is it says you can either roll up to that base, kill them all, or you can try and talk to the leader. And there are other side objectives in that quest as well. There's two optional things, go and talk to two different people to try and learn more about these bandits that you're going to take out. And this is something that wasn't there at all before. This is one quest, one single quest that has four different objectives, two of them uh, a kill or a talk, which are obviously very different, and that'll be your quest outcomes, and two optional. Like, there's already a significant amount of choice. Choice that you can do in this one quest, and we're only less than an hour into the game. I imagine most of you watching this video are either curious how the game has changed, and if you should play it again, or for the first time. And from my experience so far, this game is already a major, major improvement from the original. I remember recording my first hour playthrough before this update last week and I was looking at the time multiple times and I wasn't really invested in what I was doing and I spent half the time just wandering around from quest marker to quest marker with little to no interaction with anything in the world but a scorched enemy here and there and a wild dog. In my first hour of Wastelanders, I've already talked to seven new NPCs, not including Pennington. I've been given a quest, the quest giver has a face, big point here, who has given context to what she wants done and why. I understand why she wants it done, I've seen it for myself, and I want to help her. The quest itself was actually interesting and a clever way to teach you to build rather than the stock standard tutorial. I'm eager to play more, there is more to do, there's more to see, new things to see even if you're a returning player like myself. And from what I've played so far, it actually kind of sort of feels like a real Fallout game. It feels like games I've played before, not like 76. But I'm definitely going to keep playing this game and I'm significantly more invested in this game already than back when it first came out. I'll be playing more of Fallout 76 on stream over at twitch.tv slash Norza. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday Australian night times as well as tonight I'll be live as well. If you're interested in talking more about this game, any other game or anything in general really, come and have a chat. I love chatting to you guys. I'll be making some more content on this update, including my overall thoughts on the update and how the game plays now and anything else that may arise. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. My name is Norza and have a great day.